All right, today or tonight, I'll be sharing all of the programming projects that I did in 2022. So I'll be kind of summarizing the year in terms of projects. I hope you find that interesting. It is currently 3.07 a.m. Uh, and I'm way too excited, way too late for this, but yeah. All right, so here are all the projects I'm gonna be covering. Uh, I'll start with the first one. So this first project is called Alvis. It is an algorithm visualizer. So basically it can like visualize a whole different bunch of algorithms. Uh, and the thing that makes it cool is that you define the animation with the code for the algorithm. So here I have the code for depth for search and you can see I put like different stuff for the animation. I put that with the algorithm itself. So I use this library to create 10 different YouTube videos uh, for like other people to learn these algorithms. So this project is the one that took by far the most amount of time. It is my sort of ebook. Uh, it is a short kind of book. It's 70 A4 pages and it is about JavaScript objects. So I wrote this in my editor using Markdown and the way you read it is you read it on GitHub. The way I did the research for this is I used the ECMAScript specification, which is this very, very long document that describes all of JavaScript. So this is kind of a fun one. Um, it is called boxes and X and you play around at this as this little happy box. And uh, there are these also happy red boxes and they lay X and you go around trying to break the X because otherwise there'll be like overpopulation. And the way you die, let me show you actually. So here I died, uh, you, you kind of die by suffocation, like you die uh, when you're surrounded on all sides of the uh, other boxes. Uh, I made this game because I read a book, uh, let me find it actually. I read this book called Functional Reactive Programming, uh, which is like a kind of a different style of writing programs uh, and I wanted to make a game uh, in that style. So here you can see this super complicated graph of how the game works. So this next one is kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is a sort of note repository of uh, notes about this library called RxJS, which I really wanted to learn. So I decided to create this like massive sort of note repository where for each sort of thing in the library, uh, I created a folder which had a diagram and a code example. This was another really difficult project uh, it is an Enigma machine written in 6502 assembly language. So an Enigma machine was this uh, encryption device made by the Germans during World War II. I'm not saying I'm like a fan of the Germans back then, but they did make kind of a cool encryption device. So here's how it works. You input a letter and then you get back another letter. If you restart the machine and put in that letter that you got, you get back your original letter. So it's kind of an encryption and decryption device all in one. Let me run it here. If I type hello, I get back UASVI. If I reset it and say UASVI, I get back hello. I call this project ArtGen and it is a generative art project. And generative art is art created by an autonomous system like a computer. And I made this to learn C because this was my absolute first C project. Um, and it's made with SDL. So for each of these like artworks, I wrote a function in C that would draw something cool to the screen. Um, so here are the results. So this project is called Block and Mock, and I already made a video about it not too long ago, so I won't go too much into detail, but basically it's this uh, 3D game, and it's also written in C with STL, but what's interesting is that STL doesn't have any 3D sort of capabilities, so it is 3D made from scratch using math, basically to render polygons to make it look like these are 3D cubes. So this is the very last project. Uh, so I did this fairly recently. It's called Hacker News Matching Pairs. Uh, and it's this web sort of card game where you flip cards and you try and match them. Oh, whoa, I got a match actually. 
So the data for this game comes from this website called Hacker News, which is this kind of forum for programmers uh, where you can make posts and comments. And my game is about matching those posts and comments together. And the data is pulled live. So we can see here, there's a post called macOS command line, which is the one we found in the game. And coincidentally, uh, found the comment on the very first try. So someone says something about muting an application. So that fits pretty well with the macOS command line. So this was a match. And so now I have less sort of cards to guess. Um, this was not a match. So I hope this was interesting. I hope you got inspired. Um, that's kind of why I make these videos is to like inspire you to make your own projects or like, yeah, it might seem harder than it actually is. Uh, you just have to like practice making a lot of projects. But yeah, I don't know how to end this video. Uh, subscribe if, if you want to, I guess. I don't know, you don't have to. <laughs>